Ladies and gentlemen, now for your official introduction, the fighter fighting out of the blue corner, weighed in at 70.4. He's 28, stands six tall. He fights out of Vekwa Titans and hails from Vekwa, Sweden, William Laser Sword. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, weighed in at 70.2. He's 20, stands six tall. He fights out of hard work, MMA, and hails from Grimsby, Christian Fields Boggs. Your referee, Mr. Nico Joker. Well, ladies and gentlemen, five by three minute round super fight here. Lightweight, Christian Boggs, the hard work MMA prospect. Eight and two, nine and two, according to Tapology, and the red Eric Shorts and fighting out of the red corner. And he faces William Swart, 9-0 from Vaxo Titans MMA. 18-2 and two record between these two. <laughs> this yeah. is about as close to pro as we're going to see. Yeah, I was super right. excited when I saw this got announced. Oh! So, whoa. Again, nice recovery. Great <laughs> recovery from the man in the red corner, Christian Brooks. Again, people's, people's beards are holding up today. Yeah. Looking, got that tight clinch, pressuring. Swarred up against the cage. Maybe thinking of a couple of chipping knees. There we, uh, go. there we go. And then steps behind. Yeah, just chipping away. And, and it might not look like he's doing much, but oh. he's winning the round. And, and the thing is that it's, this is horribly tiring. Yeah. But, oh, oh lovely. lovely trip. Just trips it, him out. Beautiful. He, he took his time. He and wasn't he, Russian. And now he's straight. He's got the Dagestani yeah. or Canadian wrist lock for Danny Misson. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Dagestani. Canadians will take it. Looking to try and slip onto the back. Just the cage in the way now. Yeah, and he's got that, that was a nice little uh, um, hook with the leg. Truck hook, I think it's, oh, think it's called. Oh, lovely, yeah. Just We're extends the leg out. His head pressure driving into him. It just means he's got to carry even more weight. Sword does well, but yeah, he's now he's got focus right on his back. Looks to turn into his man, does. The hands are unlocked here. Could be seeing an escape. But he's pinned against against the fence there. Just, yeah. Oh. Now William with uh, the double unders and the potential takedown attempt. Oh. Christian was straight back on it. Yeah, and the overhook there. But wants to dig the underhook in with that right hand. Looking to level change, but William digging that underhook. Oh, that's Very just nice. beautiful. That's high level stuff right there. Unable to connect the hands, so almost does a sacrifice throw. Pulls himself out of the way and, and completes the takedown. Just over 20 seconds left to work in the round. It's been a good round for the man from hard work MMA, Christian Bogus. Some knees to the body would top it off. Hey, wow. <laughs> Certainly make a fan of me. But just rolls with him. But look at that guard capture again from Swart again. Yeah, I, nice. I think no matter where it goes, we're going to be treated to some. I'm glad this is five rounds. Oh, yeah. Corner, corner teams in. And, you know, what big mistakes were made in that round by anybody? Were there any big mistakes made? Yeah, nothing major. Uh, I mean, I can't even think of no, any, really. No, I mean, it was... It was just one... Uh, that is something you do tend to notice. Quite often at the lower levels, people make the mistakes, which leads the other guy to win. Yeah. At the higher levels, it's more one guy capitalizing. Yeah and creating the mistakes or just winning. Um, you do tend to find that a lot. Well, seconds are cleared. Again, William Swart, the Vasco Titans MMA man, fighting out of the blue corner, white shorts, black trim, the RDX, and Christian Bogus from Hard Work MMA with the red and black Eric shorts. 
Nico Joka has the cage door closed, and away we go. Wow, are we starting to see perhaps the game plan unfold? Yeah, that, that is one of the cleanest entries of the night. Yeah. It's flawless. I was very impressed with that. Angle change, yeah. straight under, and now head position. Just trying to get past the knee shield. And he's got time to work, doesn't need to yeah. rush. Vasco, though, William Suard looking to try and control the wrist. Yeah, again, he's on he's on that wrist again, on the bottom arm. Oh, those which shots makes, are getting through, though. Yeah, it just makes those shots just so much more effective as you can't defend yourself, apart from with the top arm, which isn't really doing much other than tracing the arm. Yeah. The, 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 the punching arm. Looking to step over the that knees. That foot caught in the shorts. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Nico Joka. Makes the wardrobe malfunction go away. Ah, oh, it's a lovely little spin to get back to his feet. Now he's got the body lock. Yeah, halfway through the round. Transition the to the, the single. single. Throws a little chip and knee to the thigh, but... Looking... No, yeah, goes back, back to, the to the single. single. Nice wide base at the moment from Bowes. Keeps it nice and wide, but hands locked underneath the hips now. And steps behind. Nice. But good head position, preventing the get up. Yeah, keeping the keeping yeah. the hips and the feet off the ground so he can't post down anywhere. And then collapses in on him. Well, oh, head stuffed right up tight against the cage. Not a good not a nice position, but digging the Thought he was looking for the guillotine, maybe. Not from the half guard. I mean, he is under the net, yeah, but he's let go of it. Yeah. Again, high level MMA. You're not going to see him holding on to guillotines that aren't there. But threatening with the guillotine, though, almost allowed him to get that butterfly in place and push out away. But sword this round. No, no, no. Staying sticky. Yeah, this is a hard round to score because um, if we see out the end of the round, the reversal was at halfway through the round. Got a few seconds left to work, put a stamp on it. Little knee to the yeah. body there. Hey, man. Maybe we see another knee to the body. Oh, oh big, nice. big shots to finish the round. Nice and a knee to the body. Around. Yep. Fantastic. Jeez, like one each. Yeah. What yeah, I would go for that. Um, personally, just because end of the round quite often more favourable and landed some pretty pretty good shots. But again, as we can see at the start of the round, Christian did land some pretty yeah. pretty tasty shots with that handcuff. But then steps outside the leg, drops him down, and this is where we stayed for the remainder of the round. See, this is round three. We still got two more to go if we need it after this. This makes me happy. Yep. Yeah, we've still got a full uh, amateur fight left. Yeah, absolutely. Neither of these two athletes look like they were in the pace of the first two rounds too harshly. Both look... Fit and eager to go. And Christian Bogus, red and black Eric Schwartz, William Sward, the white with black trim. Interesting. William Sward looking for the Straight takedown. Straight in through the takedown. You do find, especially at the higher level sometimes, of amateur, where there's not, you, you can win on the feet, but sometimes the grappling just does win. It's a lot more easier to see as, uh, for the judges, it's pictures, not videos. So yeah. quite often it's who shot first. Especially with a three-minute round, you don't have that much time to get back up to your feet. Well, it was Sward that shot first. But Christian with a reversal and with the takedown, the takedown of his own. Got the butterflies in to Sward if he wants to start to elevate, push him away. But I would suggest he needs to push him away sooner rather than later. 
looking to try and step over. Still got those butterflies. Oh, it's a lovely scramble. And now trying to lace the legs up. Yeah, trying to, Christian trying to step over the legs, but William Soir doing just an amazing job of keeping this guard, knees to chest, using those butterflies, and just tracing his man. But again, you got the butterflies in place. Maybe use them a little bit more. Yeah. You, you, Try to get that distance. Again, easy for me to say sitting on this side of the cage. Yeah, again, a lot easier to do in the open. We've mentioned. Yeah. Oh! oh! Trying to sneak around to the back, but no. Yeah. Again, it is a lot easier to do when you are in the open and you have the space to work. Uh, if you're sat up against the fence, you can't really do too much with the butterflies. Boris, now you expect he's going to just try drag and him drag down. him back down to the cage. Ooh. Oh, Swart tries to sit out. Yeah, Christian wise to it. And again, if he wanted to really clamp down on that half, he could hammer away. Yeah, like you said at the beginning, this really could be a pro fight. The the stuff I'm seeing here is very right, high yeah. level stuff. Yeah. And chipping away. Oh, onto the back. Is he going to get that hook in? Again, that right side next to the cage might be saving. Smart at the moment. Is he gonna onto the back? Tried to get that hook in, just couldn't. Yeah, looking for the near side. Probably just gonna drag him back down. Yeah, looking to try. So I'd keep in his balance though. Yeah, Ooh, oh, very lovely. Nice. Yeah, you go that, that way, I'll go this way. And again, now he's got the hook. Threatens the choke to flatten him out to the mount. And now, ten seconds left. Might if he see chips a little away scramble. from the uh, Flurry, sorry. Just chip away from the top position. Okay, go. or throw big honking shots yeah. standing around. Yeah, land, make a statement, and also damage for the next round. This is something that quite often people don't think about. But you're not only just trying to win the round on the judges, but also tie your man out for the yep. next round. Well. Coming into the business end now. Round four, a potential five. William Swart sat down, taking in the advice from the cornerman. Christian Bogus refusing to take a seat at the moment. Yeah, Christian probably has spent more time, well, has spent more time on top, so. I mean, uh, it's unbelievable. Schwartz sitting over in his corner like he's waiting for somebody to bring him, like, dinner. <laughs> Just calm, relaxed, not, not breathing heavy after nine minutes of work. Yeah, this could be the first round from looking at him now. You can't even really tell. No, they don't even look that sweaty, really. Oh, it's disgusting. They look like they've had a warm-up. Oh! <laughs> Boy, big shot. Catches nice sprawl. Is he? Oh, oh, nice lovely. scramble out. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was that little set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, what, what do you say? That shows the record and the level right there. Oh, controlling on top. Big shots coming in now from Bogus. Straight and back it, into that position. He's really but, dominant but from now this body But now he's got a little more time to work than he did in the last round. Is he gonna? Yeah, throwing yeah, those knees. knees to the thigh and the body, lovely. Nice. And then just keeping him, keeping him honest, keeping him tight against the cage. You want to see again? I want to see him sort of step around behind. Yeah. Control the legs. There we go. Again, it can be quite difficult to finish someone, especially when they they don't want to be finished. Yeah. Well, he's got the one hook in. Saying oh, that. He's, he's now get... onto the back. But Suarez doing everything to stop that left leg. Trying to punch from the back. And again, had to, is he going to take the back now? Yeah, well, absolutely. I mean, this is so smart from Suarez. The, the way, just the, the way he's moving to try and stop. 
Bogus from taking the back and getting both hooks in. And so far, although he's defensive, it's working. Yeah. But you can't Seen be him. eating those. See him to the end of the, to the round, creating more opportunities for him. Got a long time to work, though, and I'm. it's looking to me more and more like Bogus is looking to try and find a way to finish. Yeah. But I, I just mean in general that the movement is, rather than staying still, giving uh, Christian time to get off his strikes and his subs, he has time to, you know, escape, potentially. Trying so <laughs> hard to get that left hook in. And, and finally yeah, does. Him. I mean, the defensive wrestling from Suard has been on point. He's a, yeah. avoided the submissions. He's had a man on his back for almost the whole round. And now just nasty, covering the nose and mouth. Yeah, Christian just tra tracing and tracking though. The, the control is incredible. He's been really, he's been all over him. Oh, what, what I was gonna say is the, the, this style of grappling where he's not just looking to submit, yeah. not just looking to pin, he is landing some, some shots as well. It's quite a, an exciting style of grappling. And again, Suard surviving, but not being able to get anything off of his own. Yeah. That's a good, good round for the hard work MMA man. Yeah, he's definitely on the defensive end, but he's still in the fight. Oh, yeah, no, it no doubt. Look like he's used too much energy. Yeah, the disgusting thing is neither of them do. Yeah. And we've had four hard fought rounds here. And, you know, the grindy, grapply, tie you out, wear you down rounds. Nope. <laughs> yeah. And we see that lots of lots of time on the back, but Swords submission defense. Yeah, that, that hook on the on the leg, just sprawling it out, landing the shots against the cage. It's not a nice place to be. Very hard to escape. Then shoot, mixing it up, going to the body a little bit with the ground and pad. And is it going to be ground five, same as one, two, three, and four? Here we go. Three minutes left to separate these two young fighters. Catches the leg. Woo. Got a little bit frenetic. Frenetic there. Oh. Oh, big knee to the body. That made me wince. <laughs> right hand lands. Again, it just shows that in these scrambles and these exchanges, anything can happen. If you're caught off balance, uh, both now guys still in it. Trying to pick that ankle. Trying to get under the hips now. Yeah, just trying to lock his hands on the double. But Christian doing a good job of keeping his legs wide. Yep. And using that wizard and that underhook to pull him up. Yeah, has to let go, give up on it, and now. Yeah, now Christian in. Under the, the hips and puts it down, and this is, could be the big difference in the fight. Yeah. Yeah, Christian is just, you can really tell this is his game. This is where he wants to be, and he's very good at doing it. He wants to get his head higher, right? Yeah, ideally you want your head above his, otherwise you can stand oh, up, which he has on done. the back again now. This is still an effective place if you're Christian, well, though. Yeah, I mean... I, I, there's not really much of a difference between here and when he was on the floor. And so far, once he's managed to kind of attach himself to Suard, it's been very, very difficult for Suard to get any room to maneuver at all. Yeah, and he's got his there elbow it is. through, he's though. Doing yeah. it. It's an interesting uh, position there. Like, every time the elbow comes through, you're able to dig that underhook. Rather than leading with the hand, he's yeah. leading with the elbow. Two on one on that hand. Yeah, chipping away. Christine could potentially take the back here, as there's no whizzer. I think he's right now happy here, pressuring and chipping away. Minute five left, trying to get underneath the hips. Yeah, looking to connect his hands on the double. Just managed to get turns it. Turns his man. Is that a little bit of frustration on? Maybe an issue with the gum shield. I think I thought it was more an issue with the glove. Ah, uh, yeah. Just biting to get the <laughs> finger in the place. 
pin it again. No quit at all in Suarez as he tries to. Oh, hey, to the body. thank you. And another. Espe yeah, when those hands are locked, it's one of the most effective strikes. Your big leg against, you know, the, the weaker organs. Yeah. <laughs> it makes no sense not to use it. I, I love, I, again, no quit. No quit whatsoever in either of these two athletes. And they have given it all over 15 minutes for us here. Five competitive rounds. Oh, <laughs> looks for the transition at the end. And Christian Bones, yeah, William well, Sward, take a bow, boys. That's my, de definitely my fight of the night so far. That's as high a level amateur fight as you could hope to see. Yeah, that really could have been a professional fight. Good Lord. I mean, 15 minutes is a professional fight, just Absolutely. split differently. Whoa. Judges' scorecards being tabulated. I mean, we did get a lot of back control, a lot of time on top for Christian Borges. And I'm thinking that, to me, might be the difference maker. Yeah, yeah, I agree. What a competitive fight, what a great fight, what a high-level fight. Whoo! He was active with it as well. Wasn't yeah, just looking to control. Didn't just lie and looking pray. to land. Well, Mr. Seth Khan, make this fight official. Ladies and gentlemen, after five hard four round, we go to the judges' scorecard. 49, 46, 49, 46, and 49, 46. All three judges score this in favor of your winner, Christians Bills Bogus. Please show your appreciation for William Sward.